So his amazing science experiments videos have over a billion views on social media channels. This morning, Steve Spangler is joining us, sharing some fun and festive 4th of July inspired science projects. Good morning to you, Steve. Good morning. Uh, look at this. I've been standing in this uh, kitchen kind of thing. This is where we shoot our show uh -huh. DIY Sci for about 15 months, trying to show parents and teachers and kids fun things to do with science. So it's so nice that you're going, what's going on for 4th of July? And I've got some ideas for you that of course are not going to be messy. Yeah, of I was going to say, I don't know if many people think of science and 4th of July going hand in hand, but they do. I mean, in the form of fireworks alone, that's one big thing. But what can kids try at home? What should parents be doing? with their kids this weekend. You know what, I was thinking about this, but families are gathering, so you can just go and get ice cream, but why in the world would you do that when <laughs> you can spend hours making it on your own, all right? Yeah. So <laughs> here's the here's the quick uh, recipe. So I'm gonna use this half and half, and so again, use your favorite recipe, but it starts with half and half, and then of course, why wouldn't you have sugar? Uh, yes, and then <laughs> you can see my measurements are exact. I don't think I'm gonna get a cooking show here very soon, exactly. but that is everything that we need, a little bit of vanilla. Now we got a freeze this and you don't want to put it in the freezer we're actually going to use ice to be able to do this oh. now Netta, night ice is 32 degrees everybody knows water turns into to a solid at 32 degrees but we got to get it lower than that and so the secret you know this is rock salt right so if you add rock salt to the ice it lowers the freezing point believe it or not we can get it down to about 17 degrees Whoa. so here's what i'm doing i have this plastic jar and so it's there you take this mixture here and you put it into a Ziploc bag and you seal it and that's really important because we're going to put that down inside the jar and then you put the ice on top of this you add a little bit more rock salt you keep on doing the whole thing until now you give it to the kids and you tell them to roll it around and I don't know tell them just make it up say do it for an hour and then <laughs> it'll keep them busy for an hour and what you're doing is you're robbing the energy the heat energy oh, wow. that's in that uh, milk the mixture bag, and you're yeah. freezing it so after this much time you get done look at this no pop it open way. wash it off and look at the beautiful Steve. ice cream you get inside that I is know so look cool. at this it's like a shake wow like I, a shake. I was gonna say where's your blender but no you don't need that oh my goodness we don't need a blender I and when you're in somebody else's kitchen you remember anyway. don't try this at home try it at a friend's home so you know that <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you just spilled on your counter we'll ignore that part <laughs> what else do you don't, have don't worry, don't worry about it <laughs> hey Netta you've got a watermelon uh, right check okay, this out actually. here's what you need this will keep the kids busy for a long time get a watermelon and then get safety glasses so okay. you don't normally have safety glasses when you have a watermelon and then get about five to six hundred rubber bands uh -oh. got it so here's what you do you get the kids to stretch the rubber band around the watermelon you're gonna, they're gonna take the challenge now it's no big deal for the first part like that but then after about the 400th rubber band you're putting a lot of pressure watch this we did this at the Franklin Institute with some friends look at this wrap it around wrap Whoa. it around this is about 20 minutes in look Whoa. at this about 20 minutes in and Boom! <laughs> Look at that! It explodes everywhere. Whoa. It's not just for a science museum. And then make sure there's a tarp out because the kids will eat it. Then it'll be crazy. Yeah. They'll love it. Okay, so do that and, outside, and, like on the grass, you know, not in your kitchen. <laughs> come on! If you put it in the kitchen, the kids will remember it forever, right? right? Just and don't so tell the, the person uh, who is in their so kitchen the that that's going to work. <laughs> I have one more thing for you. Okay. Check this out. I think you're going to like this. So, of course, everybody knows about dropping Mentos into Diet Coke, but that's what I thought. No, no, I started doing that. I think this is my 17th anniversary of releasing the experiment on YouTube. That was the first viral science video on YouTube. YouTube was only three months old. Take a look. Here's what you do. You take bottles of Diet Coke, okay. and then you take Mentos, and you turn the Mentos upside down. You turn the tube upside down, drop the Mentos in, and when you do that, all the carbon dioxide whoa. comes out. Look at whoa, that. Whoa, you whoa. try to do as many of them as can. This is fun to do in grandma's kitchen so <laughs> she loves this I'm just telling you this is a tremendous <laughs> amount of fun and uh, it's not that messy and you okay. use diet because it's not sticky 
Science, ready? You're getting the carbon dioxide to come out of this soda because of Mentos. There's tiny little pits on the outside of the Mentos that grab onto the car, or where the carbon dioxide collect. It's sitting at the bottom. So I have this cutaway for you here. It's uh -huh. sitting at the bottom. All of that carbon dioxide shoots the soda up and you've got this. You know what, if you want the little, uh, the Mentos geyser, then you just put it up here because it shoots this now 30 feet in the air oh. because anything we're doing is worth overdoing. So <laughs> there you have it. Three things that are going to keep you busy for 4th of July. Wow, Steve, this is so fun. My good, I didn't know actually why that happened when you put Mentos in the soda. And thank you for explaining that. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of that my explain. job. Sometimes we let the gee whiz overtake the content. So thank you for giving me the time <laughs> to give you a little science explanation of behind all of those. Everything that you're doing here has a cool little science tie-in. And uh, I just want you I'm ruining ice for you forever because when you put ice into a water or iced tea, just remember for ice to melt, it has to rob the outside energy. That's mm -hmm. why it makes the things around it cold. Mm -hmm. See, now you're going to think about that it's forever stealing. and you're going to go, darn that science guy. <laughs> darn it, Steve. It's stealing from us. That's how things get cold. <laughs> I love it. Uh, SteveSpangler.com, the great website to go to. But of course, you have so many videos out. Uh, tell us real quick if you could. I know you've had quite a long career of teaching this to people all over the world really that can watch but uh, where can people check out your stuff what are you working on lately Oh, you're so fun. So stevespangler.com lets you know a little bit about what we're doing. We're uh, coming up in the last season of The Ellen Show, and she was so nice with her producers to reach out and say, we'll see you during the last season. Aww. And so, as you know, she made that announcement. So we're working on that. We have uh, TikTok blew up for us. Who would think <laughs> that a science guy, do I look TikTok? Does this look you TikTok? No, not TikTok necessarily. Cool. But I am, but it's not dancing or anything. <laughs> we uh, have almost 350 million views just on TikTok, and all of them are fun for you to watch so TikTok and then just do at Steve Spangler same on Instagram as well so check me out on either one of those I think you'll have fun and of course there's almost 1800 videos on YouTube doesn't it seem like YouTube's old now but so there's a big library of science so I can keep <laughs> you busy for sure and of course you can go to outschool.com slash Steve Spangler if you want to take one of my classes I'm actually doing live uh, virtual uh, stem classes so if you want to be a part of that and I'll send you a whole bunch of materials so that you can follow along Along with me with the videos I'd love to do that it's outschool.com okay. slash Steve Spangler are 40 year olds allowed to take your class we'll do it for adults there's a little bit of drinking <laughs> that goes along okay. with it but who <laughs> doesn't think that that goes along with science Anytime all the time something right explodes you take a shot I did not say that nope I'm just kidding but yes thank you Steve you put the water you put the vodka in the watermelon and then you make it explode I'm telling you I got an idea for almost anything you're brilliant I love it so good to have you on Steve thank you very much for your time this thank morning. you